It glitched. I might miss. If you're on Xbox, you should be winning because you won't get it. Three seconds. Let it fly, bro. I got bored if you miss. Bored? Yeah. Bored? But other than that, you know. I got your back. Green. Baseline. Bro, you can Test pass and Dre. I ain't seen as much grease today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. I know you shot. I know your jump shot broken. You're not hitting like I was hitting in the video out there, man. Look, I want y'all to take a moment. Like the video if you like the video. This jump shot is gonna help you. It's gonna change your life. And if not, I got one coming out next week too. I'm, I'm gonna keep putting out these jump shot videos because I know people are having trouble with finding jump shot videos. I, I'm with real good jump shots that actually hit. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all right after this, man. So make sure you like the video. It helps the channel grow. And uh, let me know down in the comment section if this jump shot works for you. I'm gonna be right back in a sec. Make it to C25, that's OG status I was told you could be anything, just don't be average Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head Now look, man, a lot of people gonna be like, look, you're a jump shooter Of course your jump shot is going to be high and I, I understand that, man. Let me get y'all the jump shot first, man. I don't want nobody to be like, I'm clickbait. And they be like, he's another now. They be like, hey, Jay, can you put the jump shot in the beginning of the video so I don't have to watch? I'm not going to try to sit here and make y'all watch a 10-minute video. As a matter of fact, this is the second time I've done this video because I didn't want to do that. Um, it was too it was too long. And I was like, forget it. Let me just let me just redo this do this joint, man. So here we are. Uh, we're going to try to keep this at like eight minutes, something like that. But look, this is the jump shot right here, bro. Boom. It is Giannis Antetokounmpo base, uh, release 134 and release 14. 66% toward release 134. One of the smoothest jump shots in the game. Nice, smooth jump shot. It hits, it goes in. And the most important thing is you're gonna make a lot of whites because these two releases are ones that I blended together last year. And, um, and and not last year 2k19 because this game is like a rehash of 2k19 right so with that being the case um i'm gonna sh like you know with that being the case i was like well what worked in 19 might work in this one and somebody came through my stream and they said hey this works and uh you know it does now what what people are gonna say is just because i got a high shooting rating that that's gonna make it automatically so that i'm hitting shots let me show y'all something 46%. 46% with an 85. I've been shooting with an 85 three ball since the beginning. Let me show y'all where I am. Just, just so you know, you can trust, you can trust what I'm telling y'all. All right. I want y'all to know that you can trust what I'm telling you. Look, 65.7% and climbing. This will be at 70% by sometime next week. 65.7% over 500 and some odd games in here. And in the rec, 49% and if we play more rec games, I'm gonna hit more. It's just like they've been changing the shot stick so much that it was hard to cope with cope with changes in the rec, man. But look, also, let me show y'all this too, man. Y'all saw the win percentage like 88%. So some of the stuff that I'm saying can be trusted. I'm at an 89 now, but it's because I'm at 99 now. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of guys in here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Playmaking shot, right? Let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Let's see what he got. Ooh, he might be able to shoot 61%. Yeah, yeah, he can shoot. I ain't cap. That dude right there can shoot. But, you know, it, 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 the whole point that I'm trying to make is we can we can go look at play shot after play shot and all of that stuff, man. And I'm going to show y'all how to use a jump shot in a second, man. But look, we're going to look at regular, like, you know, that, that, that guy probably a comp guard right here. Look at this. 16% in the wreck, 25% on the beach. Like a lot of people out here, man, your average person, they struggling for a jump shot. They need a jump shot. So like, that's why when people be like, man, you can't take, you can't, you can't take, uh, you can't listen to somebody that has a shooting bill about a jump shot. But you got some people that got shooting bills that can't shoot and they need a jump shot, bro. So like who, who, who where are they supposed to get videos from? That's all I want to know. Where are they supposed to get the videos from? If, if, if a person with a shooting bill is making, uh, is making this and we got an epidemic of, of stuff like this where people just cannot shoot 
Bro, these dudes can't shoot. These dudes need help, man. Look at this. 88, 88 three ball. 13%? Come on. 10%? Come on, man. Who is supposed to help these guys? This is this is what I'm making the video for. That's a 60. I can't mess with that. Who's supposed to make videos for these guys, man? Look at this. 83. But I know, I know his joint a bit. 13%. 0% in the wreck, but he don't play. We're going to look at one more man, and then we're going to keep on rolling, man. But the whole point is, not everybody's an awesome player at the game. So, you got a lot of people out there that they just can't. Look at this. 19% in the beach, bro. Come on, man. 19%? 8% here. Bro, this dude's struggling in the NBA. He's struggling in my career. Come on, man. Somebody got to make shots for these guys, man. So, that's why... That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I know y'all gonna be like, look at this, 77% from three in, in the NBA. Like I said. Anyway, let me get in here and show y'all how to use this jump shot so y'all can get up out of here, man. Because the main thing, the main point of this video is that you can you you can definitely take a jump shot from somebody that actually is a shooting bill. Because it's a lot of people out there with shooting bills and they don't they don't know what to use. So like if you want to recap it, it's Giannis and the Kumpo base, right? And then you got uh, bait, uh, you got release 134 and 14. Put it 66% toward 134 and use the high speed. You can use the high speed. You can use whatever speed you really want to. I'm going to show you all one more time the jump shot because somebody probably skipped the video. I was like, oh, my God, I can't find the jump shot. Jack, I put it right at the beginning of the jump shot and it's time stamp down below. I'm going to show you all one more time. We're going to shoot with the jump shot a few times. And then uh, then we're gonna, we just going to get up out of here, man, because... Y'all know what it is. Like I said, if you already seen it, bro, I just want y'all to leave a like on the video. Helps the channel grow. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. This is where we at. This is what we use. Y'all understand the compo? Uh, 134 and 14. 66% toward 134. The reason that I'm using these is because, like I said, this is NBA 2K19. And this, this release combination makes a lot of whites. I don't know how it's going to be on next gen. I hope it's the same thing on next gen. I hope I'm shooting just as high a percentage. I won't be hard headed next gen. I'm not going to let me, let me take that same shot from here with, without the stick. Um, I'm not going to be hard headed next gen and start off with something that can't shoot. So I want y'all to know that you can shoot this one with the uh with the button too. You don't have to worry about just using the uh just using the shot stick. It is button approved. You can green it with the button. The tail is. When he does like this, that's when you want to start letting it go. Boom. So when he does that, that's when you want to start letting it go. If you do that and you've got a good enough shooter rating, you're not going to miss shots. It's just not going to happen. And the reason it is is because, like I said, I've painstakingly put together these two these two uh, releases. And with that being the case, bro, I hate that one. If you're a stick shooter, you know exactly what I mean. When you, when you put it right in the middle, if it doesn't turn green, you know you're gonna miss that shot 900% of the time. I don't know why they did that. It just is what it is. But anyway, I put the um, I put it on, I put it on the high speed because I use the stick. So if you use the stick, I would say put it on the high speed just because you already know what time it is. See, if you if you're a button user, you can you can shoot the ball like that and it's gonna go in because I'm going to you can, you can get it off quick but with as a stick user he takes a little time like watch this okay button he goes straight up right boom stick watch with the stick though you see how there's a little delay there that's gonna miss bro I hate that Mike anyway you see how there's, a, there's just a little bit of a delay if you don't put it on the hot the highest one people can probably get out on you and they can challenge your shot and they can do some stuff like that and um it's just gonna be bad times, man. I tried to use the, the shots at three quarter speed. For me, it just didn't work. I prefer to have the shot at full speed, and then when you uh when you got it at full speed, then you can um you can control it better, and then you, you don't have to worry about people being able to get back, recover, and all that. Because as a center, you know you already know what time it is. And uh, I'll also show you guys my shooting badges and stuff like that. So. So you know exactly what to use and all that. But like I said, I just hate when people say they don't want to take a, they, you don't want to take a shot from somebody that has a high high shooting rating. Yeah, I get it, I get it. But somebody has to make shots for people with high shooter ratings because some people, some people just don't, they just don't got it. Like I said, and you saw that out there. But this also works for low shooting ratings, show low, low rated shooters as well because the white percentages help you go in 
and um and also uh the bass is one of the best bases for for people with you know a, a jump shot in the 80s i've been using this one for a while um i didn't use it first i was using marquise chris when i was at like 85 and that was helping me hit shots but after that uh once i ascended and i got used to it i just really felt like this was something else that i needed to be doing so uh that's that and i'm gonna show you guys my shooting badges and then we're gonna let y'all get up out of here man i'm gonna throw some gameplay up for y'all later on today um nah, that's good but uh i'll throw some gameplay up for y'all later tonight man because i really got to talk about something that's on my mind with 2k and we gonna do that later but if 2k don't fix it man it could be bon voyage for this game i'm not even gonna lie to y'all because people that play center are getting real sick of it. this is these are my shooting badges right here catch and shoot flexible release on hall of fame i got green machine clutch shooter volume shooter uh, range extender, hot zone hunter, and dead eye. I took off corner specialist because I'm hitting from the corner off the strength of hot zone hunter. So I feel like you don't even need corner specialist. But if you shoot primarily from there and you don't have a high shot rating, I would definitely recommend putting on corner specialist. Probably in lieu of volume shooter or leave volume shooter on and, and tone down your green machine a little bit or something like that or just split it in half maybe with dead eye or something like that that's how i feel about it uh take off clutch shooter but clutch shooter is definitely going to help you hit shots at the end of the game i'll do something like this i'll probably do a whole separate video on that right there let me give y'all a sneak peek to the best best badges for centers you don't have that many badges man this is what you need to be doing right here or you can do this right here gold intimidator and all that right there but this is probably what you need to be doing maybe put on pogo stick something like that that's what you need to be doing if you're a center um just because of the fact i might have to change it to this because i need to test out this pogo stick after the patch but like it's, it's crazy if you're an undersized center you don't have that many defensive badges you got to be able to box out and you have to be able to uh to get boards and they really don't even let you go after me if you don't have it but anyway that's all i got for y'all man i hope you guys enjoyed the video um leave a like if you like the video come back and let me know if this shot is wet for you and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk of the people's champ commence it don't make cash and it don't make sense because we can't pay rent with no one's opinion so in that sense i never value your two cents hey darn please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn because i ain't buying i'm only five eight that's fine nigga i can give a heart transplant to a giant i ain't lying god speak god speak god speak we good.